is back with another one. Um, so my last video that I shared with y'all yesterday, the, the mic was really, the quality was bad. So I made sure to use a mic this time. This video is going to be about divorce and remarried, remarriage. And um, this is going to be very, very insightful. So especially if you're not married, you should know this too. Like if you plan on getting married, you want to get married, this video is very, very important. Everyone should watch this video, whether you're a believer or not. Because best believe, Satan hates marriage. And now he attacks the marriage that is for the kingdom the hardest but even if you're just married because Satan hates when two come together okay so matthew chapter 19 verse 9 says and i say unto whosoever shall put away his wife except to be for fornication and shall marry another commit adultery and whoso marry her which is put away do commit adultery so um when you marry a woman who's who has who's been divorced you commit adultery and if your wife is to cheat on you 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 are free to remarry another um you're free to remarry so Romans chapter 7 verse 2 to 3 says for the woman which had a husband is bound by the law of, to her husband so long as he liveth but if the husband be dead she is loose from the law of her husband so then if while her husband live she be married to another man she shall be called an adulteress but if her husband be dead she is free from the law so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man so as you clearly see if a woman um, has like multiple husbands you know uh, she's an adulterer she's an adulteress and we know the Bible says that the adulterer, adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. And uh, last verse, um, Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 to 6 says, and he, and he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that the time that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man slender, let no man separate. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, Satan's headquarters. And uh, best believe, guys, feminists, that whole feminist that they're pushing today, it's all of darkness. It's all, that's just demonic. All that stuff is demonic. Like a woman doesn't want to submit to her man. Woman power, woman empowerment. That's just demonic. Satan invented Christian's women's rights, a woman's liberation, and a feminist movement. All demonic. A woman's right, a woman's movement for the kingdom of darkness. Wow. All right, saying uh, the handler at the headquarters. I mean, this animation is deep, bro. It's deep. Y'all watch this whole thing, man. Saying thrown in the world. All right, the god of this world. Satan. All right, here are the agents, the demons coming together. Our spies report to you about young Christian couple, Henry and Julie. I'm telling you all, when two Christians, when two believers, two Hebrews come together, Henry just proposed to Julie, and Satan's pissed off. When God is bringing two people together, Satan's going to attack. He's going to attack heavy, bro. Now, I don't believe in bowing down and, you know, asking a girl to be your wife, getting on a knee. Do you have experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit? I don't believe in that. I don't believe the ancestors got down to their knee. No, they have never tried to. So I told you guys, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, demons could attack. And could. You must keep them away from receiving the Holy Spirit. That's the whole goal of the demons. To get you to receive that gift that God has for you. Every time God wants to bless you, there's always going to be, you know, demons. You know, try to, st try to stop you from receiving those blessings. So the, the agents, they must do what Satan says. I also want you to deceive them into believing in entanglement marriage. So that pretty much means that um, that marriage means that a woman and a man are together, the equal. But the Bible says that the, the husband is the head of the wife. So that's order. Whenever you do things that's out of God's order, you allow demons in. Look at this. This video is good. This animation is going to prove that. I will destroy Henry's marriage and family. Whenever you allow to do, whenever you try to do things outside of God's order, because you're leaning on your own understanding. Here comes the demons. Henry and Julie have just got married. So you see, after their marriage, Christian couple decided to be believe, pretty much to say worldly marriage, which means that they're both equal. You know, that's what they believe that, you know, a woman and man is equal together. But God says the man is the head of the wife. 
you know, and that marriage is, is designed by saying, when you think that both of you guys are equal, you're just opening doors for demons. You woman who don't want to submit to your man, your husband, you're just opening doors for demons. The evil darkness moves and rules over them in this household. Wow. The darkness starts to cause, to grow cold in their marriage. Arguments, fights, you know, the sex is probably decreasing, the sex life. A few years later, this Christian couple have a relationship is growing cold slowly. It's getting worse and worse. Arguments, fighting, they don't even know darkness is under them. While Julia is pregnant, she and Henry have endless arguments. The darkness is still within them. This is what happens, guys, when we do things out of God's order. After having young children, Julie decides to put her children before Henry. That's outside of order. A woman has to put her man first. If she's putting the children first, she's opening doors for demons. A few years later, Henry and Julie constantly argued and fought in front of their young children. So that's how, and that's that's not good to do that, man. In front of the the, the babes, because now that now the demons could attack the children. So you see, Satan's happy. The demons are happy because now they know they could destroy the family and and the marriage, man. Like I tell you guys, Satan hates marriage, man. Especially when two, you know, believers come together. And so she, she's a thief. She's happy thinking that she's happy thinking that the divorce God wanted them to be divorced. That she had the divorce, but not knowing that there's demons that's causing them to get divorced. That's causing them to separate. A few months later, Julie introduces her new boyfriend to the children. She's an adulteress because we know that the Bible says that she's as long, unless her husband died, then no. But her husband's still alive. Now she's an adulteress. Of course, there's going to be demons open doors. Now the, now the children are going to be confused. You know, who's mom, who's dad? Children, Rob and I are marrying soon. He is your new stepdad. Dang, this is real, bro. This is real. This is real, guys. Dang, man. Can we stay with the dad? This whole you gotta understand this too, man. When a man's this, this adds some balance to this. When a man's not surrendering to Christ, he's not following order. He could also open doors too for demons to come in. It goes both ways. If if a man's not surrendering to Christ, he could open the door. If the woman's not submitting to her head, she could open the door. Okay, she should she should skip her man and go straight to God, or skip the man and go to her children. She could open the door. Someone needs to hear this message, man. So a few weeks later, the devils try to entice. Henry to remarry a divorced Christian woman. Remember, the Bible says when a woman's when a woman's divorced, you are not allowed to marry her. You are not you you become an adulteress, an adulterer. Sorry, an adulterer at Henry's house with the children. All right. So remember, when a woman has divorced, Henry introduces his new girlfriend to the children. So he tells them that they're marrying soon, and that she will uh, be the new stepmom. So this is confusion. See that the babies are confused now. These children are so disappointed in the remarriage. Of course, because that's not natural. No one gets happy about meeting their stepmom and stepdad. The effects of the remarriage on their children while they're divorced, parents are alive. Yeah, man. No one wants to see that, man. The children want the mom and dad to be together. The children are in the next generational curse of divorce on the family in the future. Wow, this is facts. Make sure y'all subscribe to Fox 600. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all already have. The effects of sin are naturally passed down from one generation to the next generation and the future generational for generation. Generational curses, guys. It's real. Man, don't don't do this to do your babies, man. After 10 years, these children of Henry and Julie are now rebellious people under the evil darkness. Man, this is real, bro. This is real, man. She is now unmarried, pregnant teenage girl. This young man is wanted by the police. Yep. Open that door. They are now slaves to Satan, thanks to their worldly marriage. And when you do things out of, you know, God's way. The proportion of births to a married teenage Christian woman have greatly increased in Babylon, in America. In the, in the whole world. Especially America, though. So here's Satan, the hand delivered their master. And uh, the spiritual wickedness in high places. So, you know, saying, you know, he, he, good job, you know, good job to the demons. He did, they did the demons of the work. I reward you for destroying Henry's marriage and family. That's why I told you guys, Satan always rewards the demons who do his work. Saying, yes, just like God rewards our, us for being obedient, Satan rewards the demons for being obedient to him. Now, their children are, are slaves forever. Woman's, woman's power. All that feminist stuff, 
trash. Throw it in the trash. The divorced and remarried pastors, elders, and preachers, and Christians still preach the gospel of Jesus everywhere in your country. They're under darkness, guys. There are many Christian churches that are under the kingdom of darkness. There are a countless number of Christians walking in the darkness that leads to hell. They have no idea, guys. They have no idea. Too many divorced, remarried, adult, adultery, and fornicating Christians are thrown into the lake of fire. Yup, this is what the Bible says, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. How can Christian couples resist the evil influences of Satan and his deception? Repent of your sins, surrender yourself and your life to God. Purify your heart first. Love him with all your heart and soul. Walk in his obedience to his commandments wholeheartedly. Remember, I know a lot of you Eves, you have a hard time surrendering to your man. Just understand that when you have a hard time doing that, you're opening doors for demons to attack you and him. This young Christian couple decided to surrender their lives to God wholeheartedly. They also decided to offer themselves to God as slaves of him. Romans chapter 6, verse 19. And I'll show you guys that verse after, which, yeah. This obedient Christian couple was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and fire. No demons could come in. When you have the Holy Spirit and fire, the Holy Spirit guides them in all, into all truths in their lives. God reveals himself to this couple on a number of occasions. A man understands he has been anointed by God to, to head of the family and the household. So the demons can just watch. The demons, the wicked watch the righteous. No demon can touch or attack on the Christian family. So the only way they can attack us is if you open a door for the power of the Holy Spirit within them through Christian man at the head of it. No, no demon can open the door. So what Satan does, he, he tries to get the weak vessel. He tries to get to work to the woman first to get to the man. The power of the Holy Spirit lives in Christian couple and children. All they could do is watch. All they could do is watch. Christian family in this house is guarded by the armed angels of God. Against all demonic forces in all day and all night. All they could do is watch. The, the angels protect him. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. You know, that's why I made a video talking about they're always watching you guys. The angels are, you know, they're watching and protecting those who, you know, who, who fear God. God has poured out his spirit, love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who he has given us. His love endures forever, Psalms chapter 136. Christian couple celebrates 50 years of marriage. Their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren join their lives, 50, 50th anniversary celebration. God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us, Romans chapter 5, verse 5. I tell you the truth, many Christians who have not been who have been divorced and remarried were not walking in the Holy Spirit of love. Yeah, pride, arrogancy, ego, for the hearts were hard and stubborn. A lot of stubborn uh, people. The foolish woman, she's stubborn. Matthew chapter 9, verse 8 to 9. Jesus replied, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard, but it is not what God has originally intended. I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. I said that verse in the beginning. The end. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, best believe it's real. Uh, you wives, you got to be obedient to your head. Remember, when, you're, when your husband's fired up, the saints, the, he can't work through the man because the man's fired up. You know, he, Satan will get his ass burned. The demon, he, saw, he saw the demons. They could only watch. So what he'll do, he'll try to work through a weak vessel. So you wives, you eaves, got to be obedient, fool. You know, so even if you're mad or angry, whatever the case may be, you got to be fully surrendered to your head, your husband, because he's the one who's leading you and he's the one who's surrendered to Christ. He's following order, so you must follow order too. Don't try to put your children first or any of that, man. So I love you guys so much. I hope you guys got something from this message. Uh, cartoon animation created by Fox 600 and anything else like the music, all that. Uh, you, Woody Rock, all will be in the description. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.